Hi everyone, this is Tom from Tech Training for Teachers. Today we're going to be showing you how to take control of Google Meet. With the new integration of Google Meet into Google Classroom, there is a chance that you could be kicked out of your own Meet. We're going to help you avoid that by showing you step by step how to set it up properly. To begin, click the settings icon scroll down and find your meet settings from here click the drop down menu and then choose reset at this point you'll also want to change the visible to students option to the off position click the drop down arrow beside the meet address and choose copy open up a new tab and paste in the meet address Click the Join Now button. The first participant in the Meet has the ability to now control the Meet. So it's very important that you're the first one. Now you can make your link visible to students. It should now appear in your classroom banner. To manage your class, click the Participant list and navigate down to the student you wish to control. Click the drop down arrow. You can pin the student, mute the student, or remove them from the meet. Click the mute icon to mute the student and then mute once more. To remove the student, click the remove icon and then remove once again. As long as the meet session is still active, the student you muted can unmute themselves and they can also rejoin a meet session you've taken them out of. I set up another scenario where a student was the first to join a meet. As you can see, they have the ability to see all the participants, including the teacher. And at this point, they are muting the teacher. Not only this, but they have the ability to remove the teacher from the meet session. That's why it's so important that you are the first one to join that meet session. One final tip. As long as you are the last person to leave the Google Meet, your students will not be able to rejoin the meet session. Keep that in mind. Thanks for watching today's tip. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via email. And if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe.